Hey guys and welcome back. It's winter and when it's winter we wear sweater because it's cold. When it's cold there's ice. When there's ice there's icing. When there's icing we gotta talk about it. Today we're gonna be talking about icing. So in this video we'll explain what is icing, how does it form and how does it affect the airplane. Let's get started. Let's get it started. What is icing? Icing is when a super cold water droplet freezes on impact with any external structure of the aircraft. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Pac? No, it doesn't. That don't make no sense. Okay, so to make this a little bit easier, we're gonna simplify it in the easiest way. There are a few facts that we need to understand. Fact number one is that there's a water content in the atmosphere. This water content we refer to as moisture. This moisture turns into clouds when it condenses. As the air rises, so it cools. The water it carries condenses into clouds. Fact number two, we all know that zero degrees is the freezing point, but the water or the moisture content in the atmosphere does not freeze at zero degrees Celsius. And the reason is because it's pure still water. When the water is pure and still, it maintains its liquid form well below zero degrees Celsius. It could still be water up to minus 20 degrees Celsius. And when the water content is maintaining its liquid form below zero degrees Celsius, we call it super cooled water droplet. And super cooled water droplet will maintain its liquid form until it's disturbed. Once you disturb it, it will freeze. I think he deserves a Nobel Prize. I agree oh. with you. No! <laughs> Okay, so now we're done with the facts, let's explain how icing forms. We know that there is super cold water droplets in the atmosphere that maintains liquid form even well below zero degrees Celsius, like we said in the facts. When the aircraft is flying through the air, they disturb the super cold water droplets. And when the super cold water droplets are disturbed, they freeze on impact to the external structure of the airplane. A very good example to understand how the super cold water droplet freezes on impact or freezes when disturbed is the experiment where they take a bottle of water, they put it in the freezer for about two and a half hours at minus eight degrees Celsius, and after two and a half hours, the bottle of water would still be in a liquid form and it would freeze once you shake it or disturb it. How does icing affect the airplane? How does it? Icing affects the airplane in so many ways. And because this video is just an introduction into icing, we're not gonna get to everything, but I will be mentioning a few. First, icing reduces lift and increases drag. If you don't know what lift and drag are, you need to go watch my video where I explained how the airplane flies and I explained all the forces acting in the airplane. It's a five minutes video, very informative, you will love it. Go, 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 go. Another way icing affects the airplane is that it causes errors in the instruments. That happens when the ice block some of the instruments outside the airplane, like the pedostatic system, which prevents inputs from going to the instruments inside the airplane. So you need to be aware of these errors when they happen. We'll go out for pineapple, my little boobly, little boobly boo. Skipper, look. If you could think of any more ways that ice would affect the airplane, write it down in the comments below. What to do when there is icing? You wake up in the morning, you get dressed, you head to the airport, you check the weather, there is icing, and you're gonna encounter icing if you went flying. If you're doing flight training and you're flying one of the little planes, these planes are not equipped to fly in icing. So you probably need to just stay in the ground. Stay down! On the other hand, if your airplane is equipped with the icing equipment, you need to understand the limitations of your airplane before you get into icing situation. We have reached the end of the video, and as we said, it's just an introduction video into icing. We did not mention the types of icing or intensity of icing. This will be a separate topic in another video. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends who are interested in aviation, and if you have any comments, any suggestions, write it down in the comments below. Subscribe to reach similar content about aviation, and I will see you next time.